the director for the video, Jay Lee, he actually came up with the concept for the video and it brought a whole new depth to what I had already written. Originally when I talked to Antonella about this idea, Antonella didn't really know anything about vampires. When I'd written the song, I kind of had more Twilight in mind, you know, the glamorous vampires. Jay really helped me develop the concept and helped me understand that incorporating both has so much more validity to what a vampire is. This vampire would have to rely more on the practical makeup as opposed to a good looking young British guy or sparkles. It used to be the vampires when you went out into the sun, you died and now you sparkle. And I'm sorry, if you like sparkly vampires, you're, you're a bad person. Would I consider Jay a horror snob? <laughs> Jay finds a lot of horror movies funny. Jay thinks that uh, The Exorcist is a comedy. I'm not lying, this is absolutely true. He's got issues with Silence of Lambs and Seven. But he does like American War of London, so I give him one there, and that's one of my favorite horror movies. So we incorporated this concept that I had this, this lover a hundred years ago, and he was brutally killed by vampire slayers. In modern day, um, when I'm still a vampire, but you know, in disguise, people think I'm just a regular girl at the party, I lay eyes on this guy, and he reminds me of that person that I loved so much and that I lost. So I see him and I'm like, I have to have him. Patrick, the makeup artist, was 100% behind it. So it was something he's really wanted to do for a while. So I put a lot of work and effort into creating these vampires. And he's going to look somewhat like this Nosferatu type thing. Yeah. So she's red eyes, he's yellow. My job on set for the video was to... What? What is Jim's job on this? I don't know. My job was running between Patrick and telling that frightening giant man to hurry up. How much longer because we'd like to shoot. He was just always harassing me about how much longer until I was done. And telling Jay that he had to wait. When we shot Antonella as just the, the vampire with the, the contacts and the teeth, the Saul did the makeup for that. Her vampire look, I had an idea already in my mind when she's like, turns into a vampire having like, like almost like really long teeth. Don't I look really pretty? And then at the end, it's like when it's, the red subtle eyes and then just kind of like those subtle nice little fangs when she goes for a bite. Billy Beck who played the male lead in the video, he's an actor who we've worked with for a long time and we've known, we know him as a great actor, very patient, just a, a pleasure to work with always. He called and was like, we would like you to play a vampire and I uh, took five minutes and said I'm in. And so we knew that this actor was gonna have to go through hell in a makeup chair and we just really wanted to pick on Billy. Of course I was all excited to do this, but I had no, no idea what it was gonna be like. Mildly uncomfortable. Yeah. Everyone kept warning me with the makeup that I had to endure that I would be going through torture, and I figured one day, no big deal. But I really had no idea what I was getting myself into with those contacts, man. I don't know why it feels so weird. We didn't rely on any computer-generated effects for the, the horror element of the vampires. And action. Ah! 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 Um, we, we had an artist doing the makeup, an artist sculpting and creating the looks. I think the horror community will appreciate this as a breath of fresh air to, to see makeup artists creating monsters again. Catch the rest of the behind the scenes footage for my Out for Blood music video. Please tune into the official YouTube channel of Scream HQ.